Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Gogoro S2 and the Ionex S7. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side kind of thing, uh, comparison with the two of them. So this one, as you can see at the moment, is the Gogoro S2. And next, right about now, is the Ionex S7, both electric scooters. So stick around and find out a little bit more. If I didn't have these pictures, I wouldn't know what I'm going to talk about. So luckily it's up there. So the batteries. Now both bikes have two batteries in each. So the Ion X S7 and the Gogoro S2. The Gogoro S2 have, or Gogoro I should say, have 2,521 sites all around Taiwan. So just over 2,500. But they do have over 12,000 batteries throughout. Which is pretty cool. That's a lot of batteries. It's going to cost you just over 1200 a month on the battery hire I'll, I'll put the price plan up a little bit in a minute so it's various but the government are going to help you with with all this with the the cost of your scooter because you're buying electric taiwan city council government are going to turn around and give you 12,000 nt you bought an electric scooter thank you very much there you go Here's the prices coming up. They're going to, central government are going to give you 7,000. So come to Taipei and buy your scooter. They're going to scrap a scooter. This is for both, so it doesn't matter. Scrap a scooter between three to 5,000, depending where you are. So you could potentially get 17,000 NT off a brand new scooter if you scrap an old one. Now, the Ionex, they've got 2,631 stations, these little ones, can you see? They're not as big as the Gogoro, so although they have more stations, they're just not as many batteries. But you're going to get up to 18 months free hire for your battery. So for 18 months, you're not going to be charged battery rental so use it as much as you like basically they do say that don't change your battery until you get under i think it's like 40 percent so 40 and under then please change it because it's fair usage isn't it you don't want to ride it oh it's got 90 percent. i'm going to change my battery run it down a little bit and then uh, then swap it out 40 percent. remember 40 Here's where I ask for your help. You hit that subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing and it helps me grow the channel. So the weight for the Gogoro S2 is without a battery is 104 kilograms. The seat height is 750 mil, so 75 centimeters. The engine size is a 125cc. Gogoro are bringing out 255cc motors you can you can google them if you want a 55 cc that's 196 newton meters on the 125 with a seven kilowatt water cooled motor yeah water cooled that's what it said <coughs> the wheel size on the front is 190 by 12 and on the rear is 110 70 by 12. storage space underneath is 25 liters so you can get a full-size helmet in there quite easily and the length is 1880 the width is 670 and the height without the mirrors is 1090 mil so that's the gogro so here we have the iron x s7 series and slightly lighter 97 kilograms again that's without the battery the seat height is a little bit taller it's 770 mil 77 centimeters engine size again is 125 but they do 50 and they do 200 cc as well 
215 newton meters of torque so a little bit more powerful with a 7.6 kilowatt motor really pretty impressive now the wheel size is 110 by 7013 and the rear 120 70 12. so you're looking around the psi for the front around 35 30 30 to 35 and on the rear 38 42 43 psi storage space 24 liter so again you can fit a full-size helmet in there with the two batteries sitting at the front and they go obviously under the seat this is the braking system for the GoGro. It's an SBS. It's synchronized braking system. You pull one lever and both brakes are applied. So even if you pull the front one, the rear brake is still coming on. The INX S7 has the ABS, which is the anti-lock braking system. It's like pumping the brakes continuously. So it's gonna help stop the brakes from locking up, basically, and skidding everywhere. So it's just gonna give you a little bit of extra traction. So that's the ABS. Gogoro have this flow drive. It's a carbon belt driven, which they say is smoother, quieter, and calmer. And the Iron X, it's a nice heavy chain. It might not be heavy, but it's a chain. And it's metal, so it's heavier than the belt. What can I say? It's a display. It's gonna tell you how fast you're traveling. It's gonna tell you your distance. It's going to tell you a time. It's going to tell you battery levels. Both bikes say you can do 95 kilometers an hour. So around 60 miles per hour, just under. The GoGoro range, they say, will do 170 kilometers, approximately. And the Iron X, if you're traveling at 30 kilometers an hour, will give you 155 kilometer range. That's ideal. Um, how true they are, I don't know. It's we're probably looking around just over a hundred on the S7. The S2, I think, it's going to be a little bit more. So you're looking at maybe 130, 140. Both these bikes come with a little reverse button. This is the Gogoro. It's at the front, and the Iron X. They have it on the rear, so for your thumb. That's it, one button automatic reverse. A little bit of a gimmick. Handy? Yeah, I think so, in some places. So these are just basically the center stand. A um, couple of pictures in there for the GoGro, and then the second one is the Iron X. Now, I do think the Iron X is a little bit quieter. When you sit at traffic lights, or come to a standstill with the GoGro, it does all this beeping and like sounds a bit like R2-D2. The INX is a little bit quieter. You do hear sound with the indicators, which is great. They both have one click reverse, so you reverse on a button. Um, turn signal reset, so when you're turning and you forget to turn it off, the GoGoRo do a turn button reset. It's got many different sound themes on the GoGoRo. If you wanna hear that noise, you can change it. Wow, different settings. The GoGoRo have 47 different models, so go and check them out. There is uh, a few different models out there. And INX have 10. Prices, uh, GoGoRo S2 from 96,000 NT, and the INX S7 from 83,000 NT. So have a look at those. Um, like I say, there's different models. I hope you've enjoyed the little bit of uh, insight between the two, find a comparison. And if you haven't made up your mind, um, this may have helped you. I hope it has. So until next time, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.